Good morning, my friends. Today is Saturday, November 11th. It is Saturday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time. It's day 63 of Be Formed. Uh, this Saturday today, uh, around 9.30, I'll be speaking to the men's group here at, at St. Isaac's. All men are welcome. I'm going to be talking about denying yourself. That's the theme. Today's also the memorial of St. Martin of Tours, who died in 397, so fourth century. Um, he was born into a pagan family in what is now Hungary, grew up in Italy. His father was in the military, and so he entered the military. And at the age of 10, he had the desire to become Catholic and started the catechumenate process. Uh, joined the army like his father. And one day in the army, he met this poor man who was cold and hungry. And Martin took out his sword, cut his own cloak in two, gave half to the man, kept half. And that night he had a, a dream where Jesus appeared to him and said, Martin, who is still but a catechumen, gave me his robe. And so that spurred him on to uh, get baptized. And he became what we now know as the first kind of conscientious uh, objector to war. He, as he became a Christian, Catholic, he decided he didn't want to be in war anymore, um, wanted to serve the Lord. He uh, started a monastery, eventually was uh, named Bishop of Tours uh, in 372 and served 25 years as a bishop. So uh, he's known for his his leadership and also his gift of mercy. And so it's good for us to think about specific acts of charity where we expect nothing in return, trusting that we are serving Jesus when we serve the poor. Let's focus on the gospel today. Uh, Luke chapter 16, 9 to 15. This is a continuation of yesterday. Remember, it was kind of confusing. Like, is Jesus honoring a dishonest steward? So let's hear, listen to Jesus. He says to his disciples, I tell you, make friends for yourselves with dishonest wealth so that when it fails, you will be welcomed into eternal dwellings. There's kind of an irony in his talk there that our souls are eternal. Our souls are going to live forever. How you live this life will determine whether you're in heaven or hell. The person who is trustworthy in very small matters is trustworthy worthy in great ones. We've heard that before. And the person who is dishonest in very small matters is also dishonest in great ones. I always remember uh, my father who was uh, with the laborers union and uh, he would tell us, he'd be very honest. Um, there are a couple of times when he was offered large bribes for big jobs on the highways. And he would tell us, he said, I, I can't look at you and I can't look at myself in the mirror. I can't look at God uh, if I did that. And so he was a very honest man and he was honest in the private. Nobody probably would have known had he, had he taken those bribes, which he didn't. Um, but yet he knew what integrity meant to live a life of honesty and integrity. And, uh, but those who are di dishonest in small things, Jesus says, will be di dishonest in great things. He says, if you therefore are not trustworthy with dishonest wealth, who will trust you with true wealth? So am I, am I honest with even the small things? And he goes on to say, no servant can serve two masters. He will hate one and love the other or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and mammon, which is mammon is material wealth. I love this. He goes on to say, for what is of human esteem is an abomination in the sight of God. So what are the four substitutes for God? Honor, power, pleasure, and wealth. Those are what are esteemed according to the world, the flesh, the devil. So what are the opposite of those? I wrote down humility, weakness, simplicity, and, and poverty. So humility, living in the truth of who we are. Weakness. God doesn't want us to be doormats, but he says, it's St. Paul says, it's in my weakness that I'm made strong. When I open myself up, my woundedness, my vulnerability, and allow God to work through my weaknesses, then I'm made strong. Living simp simple lives, not needing you know, all of, all of the things of this world and poverty. He doesn't necessarily want us to be poor monetarily. You can be rich and still be very generous 
and open to God. But if we fill ourselves with the things of this world, we have no, no place, no room, nor a desire for God. So we empty ourselves, deny ourselves so that God can fill us. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for showing us the way. Help us not to seek after honor, power, pleasure, wealth, but to seek after humility, weakness, poverty, and simplicity. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. Tune to your families. Buen Camino, and God bless you.